Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you the HDR mode for the Canon EOS RP camera. Okay. Now before I show you how to access it and use it, um, I want to bring to your attention. You look at the left hand side, uh, that column there. The second item from the bottom is the raw word okay that signifies for this camera that um, i am saving the pictures in raw form all right so i just want to bring to your attention on that and um, in order to bring up this hdr mode i press the menu button and um, and if you are not on the red tab, you, you can press the info button, right? The info button is going to cycle through. So you press the info button, and then you go to number five. Okay, and you will see the HDR mode right there. The default is disable HDR, so you want to enable it. Okay. So you press set, you go in here, press set again. Now you have a choice of doing uh, plus and minus one, plus and minus two, plus and minus three, or auto, okay? The EV is for exposure value and is equivalent to one f-stop. So uh, in HDR mode, the camera is going to take three pictures. Take uh, one at the normal exposure that you set, and then one uh, one f stop below it and one f stop above if you are choosing a plus or minus one and so on and so forth. For the purpose of demonstration, I'm going just to use the auto, which means that the camera is going to choose it for me. Okay. Um, on the effect, now you are presented with five different effects on how your HDR should look. In my opinion, it looks the most realistic when you choose art standard. Uh, so that's just what I'm doing here. You can play with them to find the one you really like. Okay. Now, on this one, you have a choice between one shot versus every shot, meaning one shot meaning that you're going to take HDR once and then it revert back to normal picture taking. Now, if you choose every shot, every single time is an HDR shot, okay? Uh, generally, we don't do HDR all day long. So what you really want to do is just to choose one shot. Activate it as needed. Now, uh, the auto image align, uh, if you're hand-holding, right, and this thing t takes three pictures, obviously you're going to slightly move, and the camera is, if you enable it, Okay, it will align the images for you. So that, when you're hand-holding, that's just what you really want to do. Now, if you are on a tripod like I am now, disable it to lighten the processing load, right? Okay. With that, I press a menu a couple of times to get back. Now, bring to your attention again, look at the left column, second item from the bottom. Now, the word raw had been replaced by the word L. And L signifies as a large JPEG format. So, so when you do HDR on the RP, all you get is a JPEG image. All right? So um, without further ado, I'm going to pretend to take a picture of this. Oh, by the way, um, you look here in the dry mode, I recommend that you switch over and use the high speed mode. That way you minimize the amount of time between shots. Uh, in case of hand holding, you want to take uh, the pictures as rapidly as possible. Therefore, you set dry mode to uh, high speed continuous, right? So now taking a picture, uh, you just hold out a shutter button, and then the camera is going to take three of them real fast, like this. Okay, it will take a little moment. Um, all right, so now 
Now, um, I don't have the auto preview set, so I got to press the preview button. And here is my um, HDR picture. Now, I have some other picture on here randomly, but I just wanted to point out to you that you see these are different pictures. Now, this thing only save the HDR process picture. It does not save the pictures that has the um, the minus one or zero and plus one, meaning like the raw, the, the original three pictures. It doesn't save it. All right. Now, if you've used um, some other Canon cameras uh, for HDR, uh, for example, I used to have the 5D Mark III, and it will save the three original pictures in RAW format, you know, so that I can later use them uh, to do post-processing on them myself. Now, the RP doesn't do that, so all you uh, get is a JPEG picture of the uh, HDR, all right? Um, now, if you go to the menu again, because we only choose one shot, okay? So the camera, what it does is like it goes back to normal. It disables the HDR. Now you're ready to go back and, and do normal picture taking. Now I want to bring your attention again to the left-hand side column. The second item from the bottom. Now remember originally before I used HDR I had raw format. Okay, I shoot basically nothing but raw. So that is the the mode that I'm always on. Now with this, after it reset itself, it does not reset this choice. So now from now on if you go and you take pictures and you thought that you would be saving raw files, and you're not. You're actually saving uh, JPEG files from now on. So be very careful after you use HDR. Uh, you have to go in here, press the Q button or the set button, change this guy back. Okay, so you press info, change to raw, and then on the JPEG, go to the dash. So that now you're back to raw. Okay, so don't forget that. Okay, with that, I would like to thank you very much for watching. I will be seeing you later. Thank you.